Hey boss, got a hypothetical for you? You got a friend, see? Somebody you knew when you were growing up. You were close. Then one day, they up and vanished. Five years go by, they send you a message out of the Aether. What's going through your head? Guy by the name of Clyde Harlow. He was an old friend of mine. Honestly, he was probably my first and longest friend. I just heard from him. Says he wants to talk to me. Says it's urgent. Figured I should let you know, seeing as we're on Scylla and all. Clyde's got a base on the other side of this rock. I appreciate this, boss. I know you're going out of your way for me. Hey, you. Looking for something? Where do you think you're going? Yeah. The captain said we might be getting a new recruit. That you, then? Sounds like Clyde's jumping to conclusions, but yeah. I'm Felix. You're on a first-name basis with Captain Harlow, huh? All right, go on through. Got my sights on you. Well, hey there, Hullhead. Clawed your way out of the Groundbreaker at long last? Uh-huh. Oh, sorry, were you expecting me to say something? Maybe a long time no see, or a you've aged, old man. So, you took Felix under your wing. Kept him busy. Good. Kid always needed a place to belong. He's been watching out for us just as much as we've been watching out for him. Felix's family, mister. Hear that, Clyde? I've been making something out of myself. So long as you haven't been making a fool of yourself. I'm sure Felix has no end of stories to tell of your exploits together. I look forward to catching up with the boy. I'm working on something. Something big. Something the likes of which Halcyon has never seen. And I want Felix to be a part of my initiative. I'm fulfilling a promise I made to the boy, that one day, he and I would change the colony together. That day has finally arrived. Easy there, Clyde. No one said nothing about throwing in with you. In case you didn't notice, I'm pretty happy where I am. I'm not asking you to walk away from your captain, Felix. But neither should you allow yourself to be controlled by fear. Change is not to be feared. I brought you here because I want to know where Felix's loyalties lie. When the day of our revolution comes, I want to know that I can rely on him. I understand that Felix is part of your crew, at least for now. If the thought of losing him troubles you, then understand that you're helping him solve a problem for an old friend. I want you to deal with a traitor for me. Name's Trask. Kill him, and bring me proof of his death. His ring should do nicely. Ratted us out to the board. He's been an informant, has been for years. When he realized I was onto him, he and his little cadre mutinied. Killed five of my own and tucked tail. I don't know where he's hiding, but his wife might. Rosanna. Lives on the Groundbreaker, last I checked. Rosanna knows my crew by name and face, but you're a stranger to her. She'll talk to you. You think so? Maybe we should have a word with Trask. Get his side of the story first. You'd be wasting your breath bandying words with that traitor. But if it makes you feel better, by all means. Remember, I want proof. Bring me his ring. I don't care if the hand's still attached. Here, my token. Think of this as my personal signature. Anyone who knows me by my works will know me by this token. Well enough. It's been a few years, but I still remember a thing or two. You had a chip on your shoulder. You'd argue over anything and you'd never back down. What do you mean, had? And for the record, you never could admit when you lost an argument. 
You see what I have to deal with? You mind trying to have a moment here? Rufus and I are no longer on speaking terms. I don't know where he is. And if I did, I wouldn't tell you. That's Harlow's mark, no mistake. Guess he's not letting this one go. I don't want any manner of harm befalling Rufus. Not on my account. All right, I'll tell you where he is. Just get out of here, please. Rufus is hiding out in Emerald Vale. Got a few friends with him. That's as much as I know. Please, just make it quick. That's right, our marriage contract expired some months ago. And seeing how he's technically an outlaw, I wouldn't renew even if I wanted to. Only that Rufus is in a bad way. He came to see me a little ways back. Said he had to go into hiding. Never asked why. He was here to collect his personals, complain about Harlow to me, and say goodbye. In that order. No, and he was particular about that. Said I was better off not getting entangled in his mess. Little late for that, says I. Precious little. He and Rufus worked together on the Groundbreaker some years back, before he vanished. A few years later, Rufus gets a message from an old friend. Something about starting a revolution, something about getting rich. Abandoned his work and ran off that very day. He must have been recruiting. Gathering up his band of revolutionaries. Word of advice, kid? Anybody carrying on about a revolution just wants to sell you something. I don't know, Harlow. Never so much as bandied a word with the fellow. You're better off having this discussion with Rufus. Appreciate it. No offense meant, just been a long day is all. Don't give me any trouble, okay? I don't know who you are or why you're prowling around here, but I'm willing to make a guess. You're one of Harlow's gun hands, ain't you? He sent you after me. Former wife. And if you so much as hurt a hair on Rosanna's head, I will put you in the ground. 
Yeah, okay. I'm having a conversation with a hired killer, but I'm supposed to relax. Thing is, you and I are at an impasse. Carla wants me dead, and I've got no intention of dying. Carla wants my ring? Don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining. A ring's a lot easier to lose than a hand. How do I know that I can trust you? Yeah, guess that's a fair point. Listen, I don't know what lies Harlow's dripped down your ear, but you'd be a fool to trust him. I never betrayed Harlow. Harlow betrayed all of us. The board's got him in their pocket, been paying him off for years. All the palaver about revolutions? It's a lie. You're a real piece of work, Trask. Not just a turncoat, but a liar, too. Go piss up a rope, kid. I've got nothing to prove to you. That's the whole truth. Harlow's just another bored asset, a two-bit mercenary wearing a dissident's clothes. Yeah, I've got proof. There's always a paper trail when the board's involved. I chanced upon some correspondence between Harlow and his employer. I don't know that it makes a difference. What was I to do with that evidence? Bring it in front of the board? There's no authority in Halcyon willing to take Harlow to task. I hid my papers before Harlow chased me out. Back in the middle of the base, there's an old vent in a utility corridor. I stashed my evidence in that vent. Because he's for sale, anything the board can buy, the board will buy. And that includes loyalty. Harlow was a charismatic bastard, and he was ruthless. With Harlow in their pocket, the board had an informant, a pirate, a smuggler, and a gang leader all rolled up into one odious excuse for a human being. Sounds like a deal to me. Board sanctioned piracy. Harlow went after the ships the board wanted destroyed, capturing anybody the board wanted captured. If we captured you, we'd ransom you. Harlow liked to do the job himself. Gather up the captives on his own ship, vanish for a couple of days. Only that's not what happened. Harlow's been selling his captives off to the board. I don't know where they ended up. Re-education, Tartarus, maybe worse. Take it you've made up your mind. You gonna tell Harlow I'm dead? May as well. I'm never going back to that life again. <sighs> Here, take the ring. And for what it's worth, my gratitude. What's the word? So it is. Thus ends Rufus Trask. Once a sensible man, by and by a fool, presently a corpse. I hope you never have to discover what it is like, Captain. The relief one feels when a mutiny comes to an end. The Trask had some things to say about you. And I've got my own misgivings. That's a damning accusation. Am I right to presume you have some evidence on hand? Those papers don't prove a thing. We've all done business with the board. They own the whole damn colony. Trask put you up to this. <laughs> that miserable wretch. He's trying to undermine everything I stand for. You've got a lot of nerve calling me a liar to my face. How should I know? But what the hell do I care? Trask was a traitor. I didn't ask you to understand his motives. I asked you to cross him off. Clyde, look me in the eye and tell me it's not true. Tell me, and I'll believe you. 
Don't talk to me like I'm some common criminal, Felix. You're the one on trial, not me. I don't know what kind of poison that snake dripped in your ear, but as far as I'm concerned, you've been compromised. Heads up, boss! <laughs> This is... this is definitely not how I imagined it would end. The void's black, water's wet, and Clyde hated the board. That's something I just knew. Now? I don't know. I don't know what to think. I've just got a lot on my mind right now. This is, uh... This is a lot to take in. I always looked up to Clyde. The thought that he could be an agent of the board is just abhorrent to me. I just hope I never turn out like that, selling my soul for a fistful of bits. Thanks for the vote of confidence, boss. You've given me a lot to think about. I'm gonna be mulling over this whole mess for a couple of days. Part of me wishes we'd put Trask in the ground. You know, I think that's just my frustration talking. Thanks for your time, boss. <laughs>